All right, so if you weren't in class, this is an explanation for your homework. This is the, uh, the third type of the new FRQs. This one is the Supreme Court case comparison. All right, so this one is always going to be worth four points. You are going to compare a non-required Supreme Court case with a required Supreme Court case. And you are going to explain how the information from the required case is relevant to that in the non-required one. All right, so basically the setup is always going to be that you're going to get an excerpt or a passage from each of the two cases, and then from that you need to, for one point, identify a similarity or difference between the two cases. Uh, you need to provide factual information requested regarding the required case, that's one point, and then you also need to explain how or why that information is relevant to the second case. So that's a, a third point there. Your fourth point comes in the describe and explain an interaction between the holding of the non-required case and a relevant political institution behavior or process. So we're going to walk you through a real example and then what you have for homework. All right, so this is a real example, and this is, uh, you'll see Greece, New York. So that actually did happen here in 2014. So Basically, um, the town board meetings in Greece opened with a prayer, and it was given by clergy from the different congregations in the local directly. Most of the churches were Christian, so basically all of the participating prayer givers were also Christian. Um, there was a lawsuit that was filed against the town saying that they violated the constitution by preferring Christians over the other religious groups and by sponsoring sectarian prayers. They wanted uh, to limit the town to inclusive and ecumenical prayers that referred only to a generic God. All right, so the case goes to the Supreme Court and in a 5-4 decision, they said that there was not a violation and the majority opinion stated that the legislative prayer in this situation um, basically lent gravity to the public business, reminded lawmakers to transcend the petty differences, pursue higher purpose, reflect on values, ethics, morals, national heritage, cooperation, um, and the changing of the seasons. Okay, so when you look at that and the fact that the audience was primarily lawmakers, and though many of them bowed their heads, they did not solicit those types of gestures by the public. As a result of that, um, they called this as the ceremonial portion of the town's business. Okay, so if we look at this example case, all right, this example as a question, an FRQ, you would use that explanation of the Greece versus Galloway 2014 example. And then you would need to identify a constitutional clause that's common to both Greece v. Galloway and Ingle v. Vital. Okay, and remember Ingle v. Vital is one of your 15 cases that you have to know inside and out. So that would be one point to do that. You would get a point based on the constitutional clause that you would identify in part A, um, how the facts were different. Okay. And then you would need to do um, describing an action that members of the public who disagree with the holding could, could take uh, to limit its impact. All right. So that is a real example, and we, w we worked on that one in class as to how to answer that. Um, the homework assignment is this one. Now, as a class, they picked two movies in their groups. Uh, you will not be doing that, obviously, because it's a homework assignment. So you are choosing for yourself two movies, all right? Uh, they need to be two similar types of movies. And you need um, to use the descriptions from the imdb.com. All right, so it needs to be in a similar genre. You have the, the, the title, the excerpt, and the description for movie one, and then movie two. 
All right, and that's what you're going to use as your comparison. Using those two movie examples, I want you to A, identify a theme that's common to both movies. B, based on the theme you identify in A, I want you to explain the storyline of movie one, okay, and how it led to a different ending than the ending in B. And then for part C, I want you to describe a piece of information that members of the Academy, those are the ones that nominate for the all the awards, uh, for the Oscars, could take into consideration when they make award nominations. So I want you to use that. Now that's going to be, again, your homework assignment, um, and so that is what will be due.